Right boys, so as you know, I've been talking about getting bigger arms a lot recently and what you should be doing to get bigger arms, why you should have bigger arms, how certain ways of lifting is avoiding you from having bigger arms. So I'm going to go over one of the solutions to small arms and that is an arm day. So what does the arm day actually solve? The arm day solves the issue of if you do an upper day and you have to hit chest, back and shoulders, then hit arms, you're not going to have a lot of intensity for your arms on that day. It's going to be hard to like maximally grow your arm. How do we solve this? We're going to have an arm day so this is the problem that arm day solves it solves the issue of not being able to have enough intensity on your arm training because you're hitting so many exercises before you actually hit arms the arm day cannot be the only time you train arms so you should be training arms on your upper days as well the arm day is like a supplement to like push you over the edge like make more arm gains firstly i'm going to go over what an arm day should not be because a lot of people will have an arm day i would be shit there'd be so much junk volume on their arm day is absolutely ridiculous so what should you have on your arm day it should not be a ton of exercise you should not have more than two exercises for the bicep and the tricep so that would be four exercises for the arms in total you do not need more than that you know so where should you put the arm day because this is very essential where you actually place the arm day within your training week ideally you want to have one rest day in between the arm day for example if you have two upper days you can fit in an arm day with one rest day before and one rest day after the arm arm day this means that you're not going from an upper day to an arm day or an arm day to an upper day you should have a gap in between where maybe you're hitting legs or you have a rest day that way it's fine if this does not apply to you and you cannot do this you can hit an upper day then an arm day never hit arm day then upper day however in the worst case scenario where that doesn't work you can have upper day then arm day it should not affect you that much if you are kind of like more advanced and you can recover quite well however this is not the ideal situation ideally you want to have two days in between where you're not training your upper body for the arm day and this is actually way more beneficial into my next point which is you should not only train arms on an arm day if you're going to the gym an extra day just to train arms and as i said it's only four sets of arms that is fine however we can capitalize on this so on an arm day i would recommend starting off with a weak point ideally i would like to have back i like having a back exercise and maybe a pressing exercise that you can superset so if depending on what's more lacking your chest or your shoulders we're not going like bare sets here right maybe two three sets on the back or the shoulder exercise just to get a bit more volume into that area to bring it up but not enough that'll actually affect our arm training after we've done this so maybe like one or two compounds that we've superseted together two three sets no more than that because this is an arm day we're going to move on to our arm training and we're going to superset the biceps and the triceps and we're going to have two exercises each so we're going to have two supersets for our arms i would tend to do three to four sets usually i I quite like doing do four sets because it is an arm day We've got more room for intensity on the arms so i tend to like four sets each so that would be 16 sets of arms eight sets biceps eight sets triceps we've had our two compounds because we're going to the gym an extra day we've had our two supersets for the arms now our arms are done our arms are toast doing any more than that is going to lead to junk volume we do not need more volume than that for a single arm day next we can either hit some lagging muscle groups i would recommend abs calves and forearms if it's an arm day you can maybe hit forearms after this is a choice that is up to you what do you prioritize more your abs your calves or your forearms hit this after and once you've done that the arm day is finished we don't need to go super intense on the arm day we do not need a ton of extra exercises obviously we need to train to failure on this do not get that wrong this is not meant to be an easy workout but it will be easier compared to an upper day because you're doing less exercises overall now to wrap things up i'll give you an example of an arm day that i'll just make up on the spot just now to give you a little bit of an idea of what i'm talking about so let's say we go in this is an arm day the first exercise we're doing we're going to do a super set of dips and pull-ups for three sets after that we're going to go on to our arm superset let's say that is incline curls and skull crusher superset let's say four sets each for that exercise of so four sets skull crusher superseted with four sets of incline curls next on to the second arm exercise let's say we could do three sets hammer curls this kind of depends whether you want to do hammer curls or more bicep work it's up to you if you need more brachialis or just more overall bicep let's say three sets hammer curls superseted with three sets tricep push down arms are finished after that like you can do let's say we can do a giant set we can do a giant set now a giant set of abs calves and forearms for 
four sets, back to back to back, no rest periods, keep going, and we're done with our arm day. That is an effective arm day, in my opinion. This is how I would program an arm day, and this seems to work well with what I do. So, let me know if that helps you boys. To help you know how to add an arm day, just keep in mind you want to have a rest day, either side, or like you're doing legs or something, no upper body work, either side of one day of the arm day. As I said, if this is not possible, you may need to do the upper body day, then the arm day. In that case, you can take out a press movement for example the dips however you can hit back two days in a row as long as it's not fatiguing your lower back and you should be fine so keep that in mind but thank you for watching boys and hopefully this helped you but what the